All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install RTL 433 on your Pi. So you want to make sure that you uh, have a RTL SDR dongle plugged in. So first thing we need to do is install some dependencies here. And once that is installed, what we can do is clone this. So once you have it cloned, which I already have, we're going to get into the directory. And we need to make a directory. And we'll CD into it. Then we need to build it. So we'll make it here. And we'll make and I'll pause this. All right, now that that's done, we're going to do a sudo make install. So, we should be ready to go. So, if we <coughs> run this command here, as you can see, this is the help, so you can... Uh, do multiple things so we'll uh, I'll, I'll post the uh, github page here in the description but we're just going to run this just like it is so as you can see it's the frequency is 433.92 so right now we are pulling up uh, uh, wireless uh, temperature sensors and stuff like that for uh, weather stations in the neighborhood here so <clears throat> which is cool but we're going to just do a control C to s stop it so we're going to do the same command but we're going to change the frequency to 315 then we'll let it run so this should pull up the sensors for vehicles for the tires tire sensors so it should display the uh, the temperature and the pressure of the tire the vehicle brand and uh, so on so this may take a little bit but as you can see it's running 96 out of 120 device protocols so <clears throat> if we look on the uh, github page here uh, as you can see each number will tell you what it does so The gain set to auto, which you can uh, change that, which I may have to because I'm running this on a different system right now. Maybe that's why it's not really picking anything up. But we can just do a control C, then we could just do a space dash G, then we'll just do 20. <clears throat> and see if that changes anything. All right, we're back. I had to switch over to my other uh, Pi because I don't know why I wasn't able to pick anything up with this. I don't know if it's because my scanner antenna has a you know wider bandwidth. 
because on this one I'm using a dual band ham radio antenna so it's good for the 400 megahertz range and and it works pretty good with the uh, 315 megahertz it's just an old uh, HT antenna so but when you run this like this <clears throat> you will see the uh, the vehicle, the vehicle's uh, tire pressure sensors start popping up. So if we give it a minute here, so we're looking at Toyota. Tire pressure is thirty-five point two five. Temperature is twelve degrees Celsius. The ID of the sensor. The type. And this will pull up key fobs too. So if you let it run long enough in your neighborhood, you might see them. And I guess depending also on this kind of antenna. I mean, what might be hurting me with the other antenna is I don't have a preamp at LNA hooked up to that one. This antenna, I do. So that might be helping me. Because in the software, you could change the game to whatever you like, but it's I just have it set that it just does auto by default. So, since I have the uh, LNA hooked up to this. But the older version of this wasn't collared or nothing. This is a nice upgrade. So, this is uh, really nice now. That actually gives you a little bit better understanding what you're looking at so anyway that's about it and uh i'll throw a the link in the description so thanks for watching and and stay tuned for more videos